You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a game. We like to do these every so often. This is the Bottle Tops game made of real wood. Stack them high and stack them wide. Have you played this game? It's an older game. Our version, I believe, is from the 90s. Yes, 1993. Steady hands. Put your balancing skill to the ultimate test as you stack them high and stack them wide. Steady nerves. The game is simple. It's easy to learn. How easy is it? That depends on you. So you first decide how high you're going to go. And you take turns. And when you reach the agreed upon number of levels, cap off the stack with the red stopper top. And then from there, you go in, you go under, you go out, you go wide, you go any, you go way wide, okay? You go crash. You crash, you lose. Try again. Bottle tops, you have to play it to believe it. So uh, when I come back, I'll have everything on the table and we'll check out the parts and I'm going to play a game of bottle tops. All right, so this is the game of bottle top. Now check it out. So this is an all wood, pretty sturdy and heavy base. Okay, bottle top. And then here is the capper. Goes right there. Now let's go over some of the rules. How many levels? Well, the object. Put your balancing skill to the ultimate test as you choose your level and place tops carefully, very carefully into the stack you've built atop the bottle. If you make six or more tops fall on one turn or you make the stack crash completely, you lose the game. So it's all set to go. So gameplay, how many levels? Build to nine levels for a good challenge. Fewer levels makes it tougher. Used all the tops. If you've placed all the tops and not made a crash, you've mastered the game at nine levels. Congratulations. For a greater challenge, reduce the number of levels the next game. Now build a stack. Decide among yourselves how many levels you'll stick to. Or stack to. Nine or fewer. Okay? Pick a player to go first. Player by player and top by top, assemble levels stacking the tops up and out. As soon as you reach the ninth or whatever number you've decided on level, cap off the stack by placing the red stopper top in the center. This is not a turn. From now on, no player is allowed to put a top on or above the red stopper. So you continue your turns. Uh, on your turn, place one top light or dark. So we have some of the dark ones here. I will show you them. I just put off the light ones for now. Kind of matches the red stopper, so I'll mix those in there. There's a bunch more, a hundred all together. So if you make the top you are placing are from one to five other tops fall from the stack, you must put back double the number of tops you made fall. So you got to restack. Before placing your top, you may tighten the stack by tapping the other tops. With your top or your finger, you may not loosen the stack or remove any tops played previously. You may touch the bottle or stack only on your turn. You must remain in your place on your turn. If you want to place a top on the other side of the stack, you must reach around and turn the bottle. That's going to make it risky. Very risky. So I'm going to put one way out there. Nine layers, okay. I could see now how this would be a fun challenge. I haven't played this game with a group in a very long time. So now that layer really can't be added to. Easily anyway. So I guess if I put that there, then someone can come in here now and try to squeeze one in. Ooh, let's put it back. I'm not playing for real here. I'm just playing for fun. I'm testing my stacking skills. Now that's going to make it really hard for somebody. And then you just keep building and building until you get nine layers. So what they're saying now is if we say right now this is the stack, it's going to be really hard to keep this going. So if I want, I probably can try to squeeze one in here now. Ooh. I have no idea how many layers that is now. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. I 
That would be layer seven. So of course you're just gonna keep trying to go wider and wider. There's layer eight. Okay. So let's say layer nine goes on. I'm gonna cap it off. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is layer eight. I miscounted. So I'm gonna put that one there, put that one there, and then come up with a layer nine. Let's double check, you count. How many layers do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the ninth layer up there. So now that we have the ninth layer, then I need to cap, okay? So now nothing can go higher than that. You can only go out wider and wider. Now if I want to see what's on this side of the stack, I have to carefully turn. Now fortunately, I have a very stable table, so I should be able to turn it without a problem. Wow, I can see how challenging this would be. Okay, let me give you this perspective. So when it all comes crashing down, you get a nice shot of that. Hmm, let's see. Turning. It's kind of like... I'm not sure if this one came out before or after Jenga. Remember Jenga? I have an original version of that somewhere in the box. That'd be a fun one to show you. Have you played that one too? I think they kind of came out at the same time. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. But I think there was some connection. You know, wood game, wood game. Look at that. Now I want to put one here because it's safe. Slowly build. You know, I guess you could play this alone because it's a challenge in itself just to see how far you can go, remember? Oh, don't fall, don't fall. It said I can tap in. Getting nervous. Getting real nervous. Be nice if I can get this layer out here. Is there enough weight to support it? There is. Look at it from the top. It looks really cool. Check that out. It's from the top of your bottle top. So someone let me know in the comments, what came first, Jenga or Bottle Tops? You think we can squeeze one in here? We could. Maybe in here. Ooh. Hmm. a lot more of these. This kind of looked a little more red than these. It's a little brighter. Not going to work there. Uh-oh. In trouble. What about all the way under here? I'm running out of space. Would have to try to get one on top. Ooh. Ah. 
Not good. Ah. Well, I think it explains the game pretty much. I read the instructions. There's other rules of stacking. Before placing your top, you may tighten the stack by tapping. Oh, wait a minute. Three ways to end the game. Player causes the entire stack to collapse. That player loses. If a player... If players are eliminated one by one because they cause six or more tops to fall, the last player in the game with the stack still standing wins, or the game just ends in a draw. Well, there you go. Pretty cool. And look at all the wood pieces. Aren't they neat? Nicely cut out. It is the game of bottle tops. Who's played it? Let me know in relation to Jenga. What came first, the Jenga or the bottle top? In the comments. And thanks for watching. And if you enjoy seeing older games like this being played by me, there's a bunch in the channel. Just look in there by searching or look in the description. We'll have a link there. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.